Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial, we are going to make this simple building. So do watch the full video to learn more about this SketchUp tutorials. So first of all, I have opened this new from template and click on this inches because today we are going to do in inches. First of all, I will click on this rectangle tool and click on this top view so you can see the top view. So draw a rectangle of 32 feet comma 34 feet and there is also another projecting surface over here and over here so for this i'll just draw a line that is type t and type 14 feet again from this portion drag this tape and type 10 feet again from this is drag it and type 2 feet click on enter again draw a rectangle over here from the surface drag this tape and type 5 feet and double click on this line so you'll get this line and from this line i'll drag it for 11 feet 4 inch so draw a rectangle over here and select all these surface and click on reverse face now click on this p for the press pull and type 9 feet 4 inch and click on enter type e for eraser and delete all these lines now type f for this offset tool and type 1 feet so again type p for the press pull and type 6 inches and here also type 6 inch erase all these inner side lines so this is our flat roof but we have this sloping roof so i'll simply do is draw a line at this midpoint and type m for this move tool and click on this midpoint so you can see that blue axis or you can also click up arrow from this keyboard and type 7 feet 4 inches but this portion has separate type of this roof so for this i'll do is orbit it double click on this line and type l and click on this line so i'm making the surface over here now i'm simply going to press pull this up to this end point again press pull it up to this end point so we can see that this portion can be easily be projected so here i'll be projecting it for five feet now we can see that this portion has a slightly gentle slope so i'm simply going to draw a gentle slope over here and i'm going to press pull it up to this point because we have this type of this roof up to this point only and erase this line and this line and in this front portion i'll just do is draw a line over here and here also type p for this press pull i'll just project it by one feet and type enter this portion is also little bit projecting outward so i have projected this now draw a line over here and type 4 feet draw a triangle over this portion and type e for eraser and delete this line so i will simply press pull this portion up to this midpoint and here we can see that this portion has a intersecting surface so i'll just do is click on the surface and press pull it up to this midpoint so our roof is ready but here we can see that this portion is not seen over here so for this i'll just do is select this model right click on it and click on this intersect face with the model so here type on t and double click on this line and you can easily make a line over here now i can easily delete all these portions so i'll simply click on this face and type press pull that is p and just press pull it to this end point so i'll erase all these lines so here this line is also not needed so i'll simply erase it okay so here this portion is a little bit projecting so i'll just draw a line over here in this green axis and we can see that this portion is two feet away so i have to make the two feet projection and this is our this portion so i'll simply do is press pull this portion up to this point and i will erase this line now we have to make this surface so for this i'll just do is edit and delete all the guides type t for this tape tool and drag it up to this point now click on this line and drag this tape so you can see that there will be pink line it means that is a parallel line so type 6 inches and draw a line over here now click on the surface and click on this is so it will be of equal length so it is this line from this side also do the same thing type t for this tape drag this line so you can see that parallel pink line and type 6 inches from this side also drag this line and type 6 inch and from this side also do the same thing type 6 inch now you have to join all these lines now type p for this press pull click on the surface and click on this edge now delete these extra lines and also delete this line now you can drag the surface up to this end point and erase these lines 
from this side also draw a line over here and press pull it up to this side and erase this line so this line is not equal so i'm just going to double click on this and draw a line over here again draw a line over here and here so type on press pull and just delete this line again type p for press pull and select this face now delete all these extra lines and this line also delete this line this line and these lines now from this surface also type t for this make this and join all these lines and erase this inner portion and this portion this inner line is also deleted i also don't need these two sides lines so i'll just draw a line over here and from this side also and press pull it up to this end from this side also press pull it up to this end and delete all these extra lines here also delete all these lines so you can see that this roof is created and click edit and delete all the guides now we have to place these windows so we have to do is just draw a rectangle over this portion and press pull up to one feet again for this door i'll make the door of tentative length and press pull it by one feet here also one feet so you can download all the windows from the 3d warehouse for copying type m and control key from the keyboard when you copy it if it doesn't fit click on the scale option or type s from this keyboard and just scale it and drag these buttons so here it fits exactly so i'll just drag these doors and windows by typing m and control key and scale them again i'll copy these windows and scale them now you can put all these windows on all these sides so you can see that this portion is remaining so i'll do is type p for press pull and drag it up to 8 feet so you can see that this portion has a inclined roof so i'll make a rectangle of 4 feet comma 10 feet and reverse the face and i'll just press pull it by 6 inches now i'll make this group by right click on it and click on make group so you can easily move it and put on this point but we can see that this portion is inclined so i'll simply rotate it by using this rotating tool and type 12 so here it is rotated by 12 degree you can also do is press pull this line up to this edge and select this portion right click and intersect face with the model so you can easily delete all these lines also it is these lines so here our inclined roof is also ready so i have easily made this window now i'll make this portion so i have a floor over this portion so i'll simply double click on this line and this line so i can make a rectangle over here i'll reverse the face and press pull it by 0.5 feet so i need to put these three number of these pillars so it's also easy i'll make a rectangle over here having the length of 8 inch comma 8 inch i'll reverse the face again type f for this offset and give the offset of one inch again click on this surface and drag it by one inch so i'll just press pull this outer surface by two inch and this inner surface also by two inch and all the surface by two inch again type p for press pull and type six inch again drag this inner surface up to this six inch i'll just select all these portions and click on make group so this is our group and click on this m and control so we can easily copy this and to edit this group double click on this inner surface and type p for press pull and i'll type six feet now i need to rotate this surface so just click on this rotate tool and you can see this this protector is now red in color and just rotate it by 180 degrees and just move it and while moving it you can select this inner portion and just put it at this corner so here our pillar is ready so you can also do is select all these and right click and click on make group so you can easily move it type m for moving and click on this end point and just bring it here but you can see that this is not of equal height so you have to scale it just click on s and click on the surface so you can see that there are the red dots so you can just bring it up to this point again type m and control key and drag it up to this corner so again move it up to this corner now again copy this pillar at this midpoint so here the last thing is our coloring portion so you can just color this as whatever color you want so i'll be simply clicking on this sample paint and click on this color and i'll simply color all these so in this way you can easily color all these 
house so here you can see our house is ready if you like the video please do like share and subscribe